You're watching WSIL TV3. Live from WSIL TV, this is News 3. Good evening. With more than a million veterans in the state of Illinois, it's a very special honor for the select few ever named Veteran of the Month by Governor Rod Blagojevich. It takes extreme dedication to one's country and one's community. Today at the DuQuoin State Fair, a Buncombe man accepted that honor. News 3's Emily Eddington has more in our top story at 10. Meet Harold G. He's almost 80 years old, a former Navy ship serviceman, and now he can add Veteran of the Month to his list of accomplishments. One in a million, Harold G. Whenever you're in the service and you come out, you're bonded to all servicemen then kind of. So anything you can do to help them, why well, you do it. And what seemed natural to Mr. G was to create a veterans home in Southern Illinois in response to their growing need for long-term care. In 1994, his dream for the Illinois Veterans Home in Anna became a reality. It was really his vision that here in Southern Illinois, we needed another veterans home. Um, all of our veterans home are in Northern Illinois and that the, the veterans to here needed a place of their own as well. When we started out, never dreamed it would be that big. Never dreamed of a home like that. A place where there's a waiting list to get in and no one wants to leave for long. Their families will come take them home for dinner on Sunday. As soon as they eat dinner, they won't come right back to the home. All the while, G is volunteering, working with the American Legion and, of course, spending time with his family. To think that he came home from his service and not only did he raise his family and get a job and pay his taxes and, and help build his community, he continued to help veterans. To this day, the state-recognized Veteran of the Month continues to support a place our nation's heroes have called home for years. I always tell the people the coffee pot is always on. In DuQuoin, Emily Eddington, News 3. The Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs accepts nominations for Veteran of the Month. If you know of a military veteran who's also a community activist, check out the department's website or call the number on your screen for guidelines. You can also find that information on our website, WSILTV.com.